uh, how do interface engines support fire? When looking at an engine replacement, what should be considered? Um, great questions, right? Uh, again, I think the first thing I would look for is um, a vendor that's engaged in the fire community uh, supporting the, the creation of the standard. Uh, from a technical perspective, um, or maybe a, a motivating example perspective, one of the things we see happening, I'll go back to my device example, right, where uh, we've got my EMR on the left and I've got my device on the right, and there would, there's a desire from a, from a device standpoint to, easiest example is I'm going to publish a fire resource, which is an observation, and what I need is uh, an integration engine in the middle to take that fire resource and map it uh, through some environment from, from fire uh, into uh, HL7 result, right? So this could be an HL7 V2 result, and the logic uh, that's in the middle will will do that transformation, right? Well, we'll take a fire a, a fire bundle or a fire resource and translate it into a V2 result, so that my old school EMR over here that doesn't yet support fire, uh, we're able to fire enable it effectively. As, as one example, we can imagine doing the same thing where I've got an ADT feed that's coming out of my, um, my uh, HIS and I bring it into my engine and the engine having the ability to use a database and take that, that V2 information and push it into a database. Uh, so this would be effectively a fire repository that's sitting up here. Uh, and that fire repository then now has the ability to be queried, right? That we can imagine that the engine could provide a fire query mechanism that could respond uh, to requests from this device and I'm able to, without having to involve my HIS vendor, effectively take my ADT data, push it into the fire repository, serve it up through a fire API uh, and translate the results back. And eventually um, once I've got a fire API over here, these interfaces could swing over and talk directly uh, to my EMR, or I could continue to run um, the engine intermediary between these different flavors of, of fire. Um, you know, another, another challenge we're going to have is, continuing on the same example, um, there's, a, there, there's an application on the left and on the right, um, and we want to do a query, for example. Uh, the problem is, of course, Fire is very extensible, so we've got fire flavor, you know, one and fire flavor two, uh, and they're they're not completely compatible, uh, or we're, we're potentially losing information in the extensions. You can imagine that a an interface engine sitting in the middle can translate from one flavor of fire to another. So I would I would be looking for a vendor that's that's thinking about these problems, um, has the the obviously the technical componentry to support things like REST-based web services, uh, XML and JSON um, is um, active in the process of um, the creation is, I, I think, a, a key aspect. 